Hi, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts share their real advice. It's six questions under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. Welcome to the show. In a few sentences, could you please tell us who you are and what you do? Hi, I'm Bill Capsalis. I'm currently the interim CEO of Haystack Mountain Goat Dairy. It's a, an award-winning goat cheese company. I'm also involved in the development of an accelerator. I'm a 28-year veteran of the natural products and the healthy lifestyle industry. So I'm involved in a lot of things community-related and industry-related around those that, that space. Mm-hmm. And that is such a great industry to be in. Um, Bill, what would you say is the best thing about being a leader in that space? Um, well, I really like the authenticity of the natural products industry, uh, healthy living, healthy lifestyle space. It, it works for me. I'm a practicing vegan and uh, uh, go through life uh, with a small footprint, but also really enjoy um, changing the world for the better. So I, I, I like being around people who have that kind of passion and um, and uh, are focused on doing things in a conscious, sustainable way. Mm-hmm. Well, I love the fact that you use one of my favorite words, authenticity, and it's great segue to our next question. <laughs> um, you know, I hear from other leaders that creating authentic connections, whether it's within your industry, your team, your customers, um, that can be challenging when there's so much noise out there. And yeah. I'd love to get your take on that. You know, I, I just think I tried to model the behavior that I would l- like to see returned to me, which is um, honesty, directness. Uh, um, I value those qualities. So I, I try to live that, um, you know, in, in all my interactions. And I'm also a realist. So I, I'm, I tend to like take the green pill, not the red pill. You know, let, let's be direct. Let's be honest, but let's be kind and and. Uh, the other thing that's interesting about this industry is, you know, it's focused on uh, more co- uh, cooperation than competition. So, you know, other industries I've been involved in, I, I like how people work together to try to solve problems and they have un- un- universal approach to things because they're trying to, to fix the world, um, which is a good thing. That's very cool. And that's a really great point about the collaboration versus competition. I hadn't even thought of that. Um, do you have any real advice for other leaders? Is there anything that you think is really important? Um, you know, I think it's really important to, to um, have real interactions with people that you work with. And so um, the more honest you can be with each other when you're interacting and sharing is good. And I also think it's a really good idea to check in with each other personally, how you're doing, especially in, in this COVID time, you know, we're, we're all interacting this way and, just take a minute to settle into the meeting, ask people how they're doing, and uh, you know, show genuine uh, concern and, and um, acknowledgement that other people are struggling and having difficulty with this time. But beyond that, also to, to be encouraging and to offer help whenever you can. And so uh, I do a lot of work in the community. I do a lot of things for people. Um, I expect nothing in return. I think it's great and it feels good. And I think other people should do the same thing. Mm, those are some really great messages. Thank you. And you're yeah. so right. Everyone is um, really approaching this in a different way and yeah. has a unique circumstance. So I, I love your point about checking in. You know, don't just jump, jump right into it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Get, a, get a sense of where they're at that morning, that day, that uh-huh. week, what's going on, right? Exactly. Very cool. Well, before uh-huh. we get to our final um, question, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would like to give a shout out to or think should be on this podcast? Yeah, um, I, I work very closely with a, an industry pioneer, a gentleman named Mark Retzloff, who uh, has just been a tireless advocate for organic and healthy living and healthy lifestyles for 45 years. And we are working on launching Accelerate together. And it, it's just amazing to me how he just keeps you know, evolving, and uh, he was instrumental in the passing of the um, organic regulatory laws back in the 90s, and now he's on the forefront of regenerative agriculture, and Mark is just an amazing guy. Um, I was just interacting with a friend of mine who runs a company called Good Karma, Doug Rady. He's a fabulous leader and just uh, truly authentic and moving, you know, in a good direction with the products that he, that he, uh, um, sells right now out in the market. Uh, Good Karma is a great company. And I was on the phone uh, earlier this week with a friend of mine, Sheldon Romer, who's uh, all about authentic leadership. And Sheldon's a really interesting guy. Um, 
He had the uh, first half of his career was in food and beverage, and the second half of his career has all been about authentic leadership. And and um, uh, he, he's fascinating and fabulous. Oh, they sound amazing, and I, I'd love to learn more about them. I'll get their info from you after the show. Yeah, Thank you. Be great. Be happy to connect you. Awesome. All right, mm -hmm. our final question is more of a fun one. It's okay. always great to get some t context about where someone got started. So, uh -huh. could you tell us about your first job? Okay, my first paid job was Paperboy. Uh, and I think my first real job was I worked in a liquor store uh, where I grew up and I learned the value of uh, sort of just, you know, do your job, don't cause any problems. There's a boss, you do what they say, mm -hmm. but you also might have ideas. So, uh, you know, find the right time to share those. And I think I learned from that experience that there was a time to speak up and a time to not. <laughs> That's very cool. And probably a little more structured than the paper boy route, right? Had a yeah, little... paper boy was just really get, get your butt out of bed in the morning and get <laughs> on that route, right? And, uh, and, and then you go collect the money too. So you have to learn how to interact with people uh, at, at an early age, 12, you know, you're asking for their $5 a week, whatever it was they were paying for the paper. So yeah, you gotta, go, you gotta be able to go up and collect dough. But yeah, the real clock in job where, you know, working in the store, um, stock in the cooler, you know, you get a lunch break. Uh, that, that was a learning experience for sure at 16. Ah, very cool. Well, Bill, yeah. how can people get a hold of you or learn more about the business uh, and you, the accelerator yeah, program too? Yeah, so you can just reach me at my personal email address, Bill, my first name at BillCapsalis.com. That's B-I-L-L-C-A-P-S-A-L-I-S.com. Awesome. Well, appreciate you being on today and um, thanks everyone for tuning in. This is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com. Thanks, Bill. Thank you.